Welcome to the WBC Arena. They've been talking the talk. It's now time to walk the walk. I'm Todd Grisham. And here with me, my broadcast colleague, it's Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure to work with you. Always a pleasure. And now it's time for the tale of the tape. Tyson Fury. He is a whopping 206 centimeters tall with a reach of 216. And facing him here is this man. Alexander Usyk. He's 6'3", with a 78-inch reach. There's an amazing reach advantage, which you do not actually realize is there until you get popped by that jab. The distance that's created is ridiculous. Tyson Fury. He's so big and yet so light on his feet. No one moves around the ring quite like this man. Alexander Usyk, the former undisputed cruiserweight champion and heavyweight champion of the world, fighting out of Ukraine. It would be ding ding from first off, they're off. And now for the official introductions, we turn it over to the world renowned Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Manchester, England. And standing at six feet, nine inches, here is a sensational heavyweight champion of the world, the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. Fighting out of the blue corner, here is the Olympic gold medalist from Ukraine, an undisputed cruiserweight world champion, and a unified heavyweight champion of the world, Alexander. What a pleasure it is to be here in this environment. What a venue for this showdown. This is the fight of pride. This is two warriors that want to get in there and beat the hell out of each other. This is that fight. What a great venue and what a great matchup. Cannot wait for this one. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. right hand caught him there's not a seat to be had in this arena Johnny it's got that big fight feel doesn't it so hot, so heat. There's a roof on here. You don't understand. When you're working, when the noise is there, the pressure's on. You're thirsty, you're sweating, and you're getting on the you're on the wrong side of a beating. This can be hellfire on here. Nice counter shot. He's dropped the guard now. What do you think of that decision? and forth they go neither fighter willing to back down what a punch perfectly matched skill for skill tap for tap now this fight will say you know what i'm just that notch above you and so i gotta respect both of them more than happy wise move here to try and slow the momentum down here by grabbing on i don't know if it's a dancing competition or a fight Gonna loosen things up here. Let's see how he does with this fancy footwork. Looks like he's gonna move around the ring a little bit more. Try some stick and move. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Talk about Fury in that last round. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. Dominance, without a doubt, made look so, so easy. And there's the bell to start the round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change? Tyson Fury just got rocked! And they're down, trying to make it up before 10 as the referee continues the count. 
Well, what a shot was that, a flash knockdown? He, he, he should get up from that, he's fresh enough. He, is, he can get up from that. Does he want to? At some point, the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. Somebody can smell blood here. They can smell blood. They've got to be smart. Get in there. Then, boom, back in the same spot again. If it happened once, you got away with it. You can do it again. When you're fighting a counter puncher, you want to bait them in to throw first. Make them think you're going to throw a punch so that they exchange. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. He's got the advantage halfway through the round. Perfect game plan. The thing is, can anybody figure out what to do to change this? It's a perfect start. Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punches better. Catch and shoot. See, he does not like being grabbed onto. Tells me so much when a fight is holding on. It means they've been hurt, it means they're tired, or it means they don't know what to do. That hook just can't find the target. Final 10 seconds here, unless something major happens. I think, we hey, sometimes the best thing you can do is to grab your opponent. You can't do that too often because the referee is eventually going to start taking points off you. You saw the referee. Let's talk about Fury in that last round. He's been knocked down, but at least not knocked out yet. Can make or break a fighter. They ring the bell, and here we go. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full bell because I know his legs are gone. So this... You watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. The referee really, really thinking about stopping it. Beautiful sneaky shot to take his legs away from him. Well, this is what he does, going right after the challenger. Green Days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. Didn't land that jab. a counter shot when you're fighting a counter puncher the feint can be such a good weapon pretend you're gonna punch what a nightmare scenario oh i heard that never by so it's have to be a judge in this fight as both fighters have had their big moments no we don't see a knockdown and we may see a stoppage here Days. where should he look what should he do should he run should he should he try and hold on and that changes everything. And down they go. Oh, he's down. He's down. Is he going to get up? He's staggering. Three, four, five, six, seven. Good for him to get back up on his feet, but is he just a glutton for punishment? Better look at his corner. What kind of structure that's telling him to calm down? As we enter the final ten, all hands on deck. We are witnessing an upset in the making. Oh, what a shot. He's staggered. He's staggered. Does he know? Does he know he's even gone? Let's talk about Fury in that last round. That'll be a 10-8 round for sure with the knockdown. You've been put down. You've got to think right. Survive and then give it back the next round. Hoping for an all-action slugfest. Got to get the momentum shift coming their way. What can they do here? What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to deal with this. That punch lands. And at some point, the corner needs to decide we have to protect our fighter. The knockdown punch we knew was coming. Oh, he's down. Is he going to raise like the Undertaker? Four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Well, he's on his feet, but there's no way he's going to win this round now. That is a show of character. When you're put down, your regal's hurt, your team's hurt, your body's hurting, and you've got to get up, suck it up, and think, right, well, I'm back in the game again. It's so, so hard for a fighter. Halfway through the round, and I think we all know who's winning here. No doubt at all. And at some point, the corner needs to think about stepping in here. I'm be legs are kicking in. Look at those legs. The legs have gone. They somehow weathered the storm. This may do it. It's all coming to an end. Does he know he's hurt him? Look at him. That bike foot went. It oh, and that changes everything. And down they go. I've seen many shots like that. A simple, simple short shot. Put the fighter down. The scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Let's talk about Fury in that last round. I don't know who's got the advantage here after both men tasted the canvas in that round. Absolutely crazy. to start the round. Let's see how these two fighters respond after both got knocked down in the previous round. One fighter got knocked down earlier, got back up again to knock him down. How, how are they going to walk back out of this into the next round? Off the charts action from both of these fighters. Stumbling around in potholes. He is absolutely gone. The referee keeping a close eye on him. He takes a knee, buys time, collects himself. Absolutely gassed out. Didn't know what to do and hurt on top of that. it is in most heavyweight fights don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over what a round so far as we've reached the halfway point very close match it shows the skill the discipline the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn not so rigid anymore with the stance Fantastic punch. Oh my, the Ukrainian has been rattled. Ambi legs are kicking in. Look at those legs. The legs are gone. Oh, that changes everything. And down they go. The referee's counting. Watching him close. Come on, make it. You can do it. people would have predicted it but we got a knockout victory oh, what a shot what a shot you see shots like that in the gym at least for once this is on tv thousands around the world saw that shot they probably even heard it